let me tell you what we're going to be doing. It's actually kind of fun. We'll see if you think so. Um, we're going to be trying to solve a problem together. And solving a problem together, I'll tell you what the problem is in a few minutes, but solving a problem together involves three steps. Step number one is we have to hear from you what's hard about meeting the expectation that is the problem we're going to be talking about. Okay, there's, and you're not in trouble and nobody's mad. There's just an expectation that you guys are struggling a little bit and we want to find out from you what's hard about meeting that expectation. Okay? We need to hear as much as you can tell us. So this is the, step number one is your voice. Okay? Step number two, you guys call her Laurel, yes? Yes. Laurel's going to tell us why she thinks it's important for that expectation to get met. Okay? Why is it important that we have that expectation? And then, what a lot of kids think is the most fun part, step number three is where we try to come up with solutions that will address the concerns that we came up with, yours and Laurel's. Does this make sense? That's what we're going to be doing. Now, there's a few ground rules. The biggest one is, People gotta feel safe talking and saying what they think. And for people to feel safe talking about what they think, the rest of us have to obviously listen well, not interrupt, but the biggest part is being respectful of what they're saying. Even if you disagree with what they're saying, Whatever they're saying is their truth, right? Whatever they're saying is what they think. So the last thing we'd want to do while somebody is saying what they think is laugh, joke, be sarcastic, roll our eyes, which would make them feel much less safe in saying what they think. So a big goal here is for everybody to feel very comfortable saying what they think, but for everybody to feel comfortable saying what they think, the rest of us got to be respectful of what they're saying. Make sense? So no little side conversations because they're not going to know are you talking about what we're talking about, are you talking about them? Best for them not to have to worry about it. Yes? So if you're talking, you'll know that everybody's being quiet and being respectful of what you're saying, even if they disagree with it. By the way, that's a really hard thing. Sometimes when we disagree with what somebody's saying, we joke or we make fun or we dismiss what they're saying. There's none of that when you're doing these three steps. Whatever somebody says, legit. Okay? And the rest of us are going to treat it as if it's legit, even if we disagree. Cool? We good? Yeah. By the way, the reason I call it unsolved is because it's not solved yet. Ready? The unsolved problem is... Dun, dun, dun. We are having difficulty listening to the daily agenda after announcements. Difficulty. Unsolved problems always start with the word difficulty. Difficulty listening to the morning agenda, agenda, agenda. after announcements. Do you know what Laurel's talking about? Yes. Yes? yes. yes? And now, and Laurel's going to be writing down what you say. Should I? Are you going to be on this board? I am. Laurel's going to be writing down what you say so you don't forget a thing. Because if we forget any of your concerns, then we might forget to address them. I should mention one more thing about this before we start. There's something unique about this. The solution has to work for everybody. So we're not going to be taking a vote. When you take a vote, some people are happy, the people who voted for it, and some people are not happy, the people who didn't vote for it. In this process, we want everybody to be good with the solution, because although Laurel is the teacher in your classroom, it's your classroom. Ready? Yeah. 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 Who wants to tell us what's hard about 
difficulty listening to the morning agenda after announcements. What's your name? Um, often when... Tell me your name first. Oh, sorry. Kate. Kate? Cade. Cade. I thought your name was Often. Keep going. <laughs> often we, after the announcements, a lot of people just go back to reading um, for a minute while everything gets organized. And sometimes if you're reading, you get really into your book, and then when people start talking again, you don't realize because you're reading the book. So sometimes, do I understand? I'm, I'm not in your class, obviously. Is there a time lag? So difficulty listening. So is it sometimes that after the announcements, there's a lag time between that and listening to the morning agenda? There's like space in between? Um, there's a little bit of time because um, people are just um, putting things away and putting their books away. Got it. And Got it. So sometimes you don't realize that the morning agenda has started because you're already into something else between morning announcements and listening to the agenda. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Do I have it? And by the way, you're going to notice I try to repeat what you say just to make sure that I got it. Good? Let's go to the person in back of you whose name is? Nevaeh. Um, so some people um, just keep reading through the announcements. So it's like um, we start off the game reading, and then the announcements come on, and we're still reading, not really listening to it. And then when it's the morning agenda, people just don't like listen to that because they're still reading. Got it. So the announcements don't really like, stop people from reading. So here's what I'm hearing so far. At least two of you really like to read. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Yeah. And sometimes reading is what you're doing instead of not only listening to the morning agenda, but also listening to the morning announcements. Yes? Mm -hmm. All right. In the pink. Of course, that could be everybody. But go ahead. What's your yeah. name? Um, so... What's your name again? Oh, Leah. Leah. Yes. So, Leah. Leah. I think that um, one of the main um, problems that I see or sometimes I accidentally do is after the morning announcements, there's like, sometimes Laurel will be like organizing something or there's going to be a little like break. And a lot of people start conversations. So then when Laurel tries to um, explain um, the agenda, um, a lot of people are still in their conversations. Got it. So it's hard to end conversations once Laurel begins the morning agenda. Yes. Yes? Um, can I ask you a question because I'm not in your class? I don't have, I've never watched Laurel teach. Does Laurel just jump right into the morning agenda, or does she make a formal announcement that the morning agenda is about to begin? How's that work? Like, do you know that the morning agenda is about to begin because she just starts? Or do you know that the morning agenda is about to begin because she makes that? She says the morning agenda is about to begin. Um, my name is Maya. Some, Maya? Yeah. Sometimes, like, we'll kind of know, like, when it's going to start, because you kind of know when the announcement's finished. You know, something's going to happen, we're well, probably going to talk soon, and we're going to talk about the day. Or sometimes, we, like, sometimes she's doing something, and we're like, oh, so we're going to just, I guess, put our books away and stuff. And then we know, like, oh, yeah, we're going to do the normal, the normal day. Huh. I, uh, but I'm not in your class. Doesn't sound that crystal clear to me when morning agenda is about to begin, is it? Maybe I'm missing something. No. No? Okay. Your name? My name is Camilla. Camilla. Yes, Camilla. Um, I feel like, well, we just, we just sort of, it's always the routine that we read our books and we, um, the morning announcements come on and right after we put our books away and Laurel talks about our day. And I feel like sometimes people are just like, okay, well, I, I see what's on the board. I know what's coming today. So I'm just not going to do that because I can, I'd, I'd rather just talk with my friends or, or read my book. 
Got it. Mm -hmm. So let me paraphrase. Number one, for some of you, you'd rather talk to your friend than listen to the morning agenda, but number the other part of that is the morning agenda is up there anyways. Yeah. What do you need to go through it talking for? Dr. Uh, yeah. I like, why so. does Laurel have to read us the morning agenda when it's up there anyhow? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But don't let me put words in your mouth. Yeah. Well, I feel like it's good sometimes that she goes through it because she says, well, okay, we're going to do that in French, so then you know just to take that out when you come. Yes. But some people are just like, okay, well, that's what we're doing in French anyways, so I'm just going to uh, just, you know, do something else. So maybe, maybe uh, I, don't, I don't want to put this too strongly, but maybe you find that listening to the morning agenda isn't that useful because you kind of know what's coming anyways. How often, I'm not in your class once again, is the morning agenda different every day or is it pretty much the same every day? It, it depends. It, 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 yeah, so we, we have, have we, yeah, we do like around the same things, but we, we usually do the same things in different orders. Got it. Yeah, and sometimes we have like our exploratory Sunday, and some days we don't have those. So. But either way, it's already written up there where you can see. Yeah. So you're not sure, maybe some people are not so sure that makes that, that they need so badly to listen to it. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Let's go to the person right behind you. My name is Molly, and sometimes. Molly, go ahead. Um, Laurel explains that we'll be doing outside, but like she doesn't write it on the board, and she explains that during the agenda. Got it. So sometimes, like she'll explain stuff like that, and it's good. So she um, does the agenda and like, talks about it. And I feel like hearing it is kind of different than hearing, seeing it on the board. Okay. So there's value added in hearing it and not just seeing it because there's more details in hearing it. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? So back to um, when Laurel tries to get our attention for the morning agenda. Yes. Sometimes she walks up to the board and like stares there and waits for us to quiet down. Oh. So she gets our attention. She gets your attention non-verbally. Yes. So we like see her and we're like, oh, she's trying to tell us something. Does everybody see her? Not always, because they're more Sometimes on their books, books. Yeah. right? You wouldn't see her if you're in your, had, had your head in your book. Yes? I think, yeah, the main problem is probably people who keep reading after um, the announcements go. Um, and then Laurel is explaining things, and they keep reading anyway. Got it. And so then, usually, the, what happens to some people is that they're reading, and they don't listen, and then they don't know what to do. Like even if they left the board, like if we were starting a new project, they wouldn't know what to do. So Got it. So you know, different teachers have different styles. Some teachers won't start until everybody's book is put away and everybody's paying attention. It sounds like that's not how Laurel does it. Is that right? And by the way, Laurel's okay with us talking about it, even if she's standing right there. Laurel's very interested in knowing how to make this go better, I'm speaking for Laurel here, because Laurel is the one who came up with this unsolved problem, so she would very much like to see it get solved. If there's something Laurel could be doing differently when we get to solutions, uh, Laurel might be perfectly happy to do some things differently, but it sounds like maybe Laurel's style is not to sort of wait until everybody's eyes are on her and everybody's book is put away before she starts with the morning agenda. Am I right? Is that true? Yeah, sometimes. 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 A lot of people have said um, the books you can get a little distracted and um, when Laurel will stand up there with not saying anything, most people um, sometimes notice and will put their books away. But for the other people that won't, they'll still continue reading. Yes. And then um, with the agenda, uh, I like how Laurel goes over it because we might be starting a new project. And so we're, we might be doing a couple different things in French. And so then um, we'll know what project we're working on. But then, so then after recess, we'll get there we'll, and we'll be able to take out that project. But for other people, the people that were reading, they won't know what to do. And I think that's one of the reasons we go over it. Got it. Good to know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm confused about one thing. The main thing that I'm hearing so far that people are doing, if they're not 
paying attention to the morning agenda is that they're reading. But the unsolved problem was difficulty listening. Is listening the same as paying attention? Or is listening not talking to each other about other things? I, the reason I phrased it as listening to the agenda is because to me, listening means it is paying attention. It's harder to listen when you're reading. That's yes. one. But to be honest, I was framing it also as listening because when you're talking, you're not normally listening. So either. there could be chatter so going there's on. Both, I'd say too. there's both happening. Got it. So there's people reading and not listening. Yeah. And there's people talking to each other and not listening. Got it. Okay. Yes? Because yeah. so far what I'm mostly hearing about is that people are reading, which I take it is probably silent. But that's not the same as people talking to each other. True. Yes? Sabine? I might remember that one. So um, I find that like when I come in, like we <clears throat> before the announcements, I usually like, say hi to my friends and like, you know, everybody sort of chatters a bit. And then we go back to our spot and some people then are reading or talking. And then <clears throat> the announcements happen and a lot of people still don't listen during the announcements. And so it's almost like people think that in the morning, like before we actually have our first block, people think that, oh, this is like the time that I can talk with my friends or I can read or I can kind of do whatever I want. So like then Laurel stands up or kind of like like it's it can be helpful that she's doing the agenda when we're like starting a new project or whatever, but also sometimes I'm, I just think like, oh well I can read the agenda, like the agenda there and like now I can just go back to talking with my friends. Like usually come in, look at the agenda, see what we're doing today, and then I'll go and chat with my friends. Uh -huh. Um so so I think that, that like I find that sort of like this like half the people who are reading, yeah. half the people are just chatting with their friends or so let me ask, this is interesting, because sometimes when we're in the middle of solving a problem, I start to wonder if everybody's crystal clear on what the expectation is in the first place. But the person who I got to ask about what the expectation is in the first place is Laurel. Are you okay with people reading? Are you okay with people looking at the morning agenda and not listening to you talk about it? No. Or, or not? Are you okay with people reading while you're doing the morning agenda? No. no. Are you okay with people talking to each other while you're doing the morning agenda? No. So your expectation, just to make sure everybody's crystal clear, I am now. Yep. Your expectation is that when you are going through the morning agenda, even if people think they know what it is because it's up on the board, that they will listen to you talking about the morning agenda. Yes. Correct? Correct. Do I have it? Yes. Did you guys know that? Yes. 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 Was everybody crystal clear on that? Yes. Because I only just got crystal clear on that right now, but I'd like to make sure. What else is making? So I hear I'm hearing. Sometimes people, so I'm going to recap. Sometimes people feel like they already saw the morning agenda, why listen? But now you know that uh, Laurel's expectation is that you do listen even if you've already seen it, right? Sometimes people are reading because between morning announcements and going through the agenda, there's a time gap. You get into your book, you're not listening. Now you know that Laurel's uh, expectation is that you're going to listen. And sometimes people are talking to each other because there's that space and that's a good time to talk. And it's hard to stop talking to your friend. Good summary so far? Yeah. yeah. Moral, is it okay with you that people are conversing in between morning announcements and the morning agenda? Are you okay with that? Or would, is it your expectation that people not only be silent but also not read? During the agenda or just right before? Well, it sounds to me like there's the morning announcements. Yeah. And then there's like sort of this gap. Yeah. It could be 30 to 60 seconds. Yeah. What's your expectation about what people should be doing during that 30 to 60 seconds? To be honest, it does not bother me if we're chatting during okay. that 30 to 60 seconds. Got the it. difficulty listening to the agenda would be after I said, okay, we're going to talk about the morning agenda. Got it. Keep going. Got it. Because so I, 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 I hear that. Right. Got it. So now you guys know that yeah. between. Announcements and morning agenda. Laurel's fine with talking. 
she's not fine with the conversation continuing once the morning agenda is supposed to start. Do I have it right? You've got it right. Okay. Let's go to Molly, then we'll go to Claire, and then we'll go to the person next to me, next to Camilla, whose name I've already forgotten. Go ahead, Molly. Um, I feel like that we do have official times to talk. Okay. We have a 15-minute recess between, like, um, after, like, in the morning, and then for, we have a lunch break, and we can talk during lunch break, and also then we have, like, a 45-minute recess where you can talk. And like walk around the street and like Got it. Um, so there are official times to talk. One question when we get to solutions is whether there's enough official time to talk. But, and that's something that you guys could do something about, right? Like Claire just said, uh, sometimes it's um, when Laurel just standing up there. Sometimes you don't really notice. Like up there and you're really into your conversation and also what I find is a lot of people talk during the announcements but um, sometimes it's because we'll be in an announcement for a girls volleyball at lunch and you don't want to forget to go quickly remind your friends and then it will kind of go into another conversation and then it can just get really drawn out and you won't even notice that we're all standing up at the time of the world. So I'm Asha, and I've, I've always found that sometimes the conversations can be unrelated to the topic, and, and sometimes it's more important about the announcements, too. So sometimes what people are talking about isn't even relevant. Yeah, and sometimes it's more important because sometimes the only announcements still have like nothing to like the music, and then we'll have to remind each other, but sometimes... So sometimes the announcements don't matter. Yeah, and also sometimes the Got it. Is it your expectation that people listen to the morning announcements? Yes. Or do you not care that much? Yes, it's my expectation that you listen to the announcements. Got it. Good to know. Molly, then Sabine, and then we're going to let Laurel talk about her concern about not listening. Go ahead, Molly. I feel like if um, you're doing a reminder during the announcement, so maybe there's an important announcement after that or a prior, and then some kids won't be able to hear it. Mm -hmm. And I think you should just remind your friends quickly and like not go on another conversation. So it's like the 30 to 60 seconds that we have. Got it. Time. Got it. So we're moving a little into solutions here. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to be great when we get there. Sabine, and then Kate, you'll be up, and then we're going to listen to Laurel. Um, sometimes I find it's kind of confusing for me because, like, some days Laurel will be fine if I go over and, like, chat with my friends who are sitting all the way on the other side of the room. But other days she'll just, like, tell us to go and sit down. So sometimes I, I'm just, like, I, like, I'm just not always sure. Like, maybe I'm doing it like, for a long time when she's giving us the time to talk. Got it. But sometimes I'm just, like, I, like, like, I'll be like, well, am I just supposed to be talking to the person next to me, or am I able to go and say hi to my friends? Go say to my friends. Got it. You know what? We're going to clear that up right now. Are you ready? Laurel, what is your expectation about whether people should stay in their seats during that 30 to 60 seconds, or whether it's okay for them to go visit? They should stay in their seats during that 30 to 60 seconds. Now we know. And during the and during the announcement. So you expect people yeah. to be seated mm -hmm. and quiet during announcements and during morning agenda. You're okay with people talking for the 30 to 60 seconds, but not being away from their seat. You got it. You got it? Yeah. I'm clear. Kate, you're the last person who's going to talk about what's making it hard for people to listen to the morning agenda after announcements. I feel that the 30 to 60 seconds is very important can't get rid of that okay. because sometimes, oh, basketball tryouts on the announcements, but did they say that grade six girls was today or is grade seven girls today? And then you have to, you have to ask your friend whether or which one it is because you weren't paying attention. Or there's a meeting, especially for people who are going on the ski trip. Is it in the gym or is it in the cafeteria or is it in the library? So you're just clearing things up and what? So that 30 to 60 seconds is important. Yes? 
And the good news is that Laurel, at least so far, is not saying let's not do the 30 to 60 seconds, right? Are you guys ready to listen to Laurel's concerns? Yes. yes. You guys have done an amazing job of listening to each other's concerns. Now here's Laurel's concern. Laurel, what's the problem? Why is it a problem that people are having difficulty listening to the agenda after morning announcements? How is it affecting them? How is it affecting other people? Okay, my concern is that when we are not listening to the morning agenda or the daily schedule, that we don't get the information we need about what's happening that day, and it makes it hard for people to prepare themselves for what we're doing. It makes it hard for them to know what we're doing. It's hard to know what you're doing if you didn't hear the morning agenda. Yeah. Fair? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yes. I wonder what we can do about the fact that... Oh, this is going to be the hard part. What can we do about the fact that after morning announcements, people are going back to reading, or talking to each other, and that Laurel is not always being crystal clear, I think, that it's time for the morning agenda to begin, so that you will know what you're doing because you're now hearing the morning agenda. Anybody have any ideas for how we can solve this problem? Molly, you have your hand up first, so I'll let you go first. And then Leah. And then Kate. I'm getting it. And then Camilla. Go ahead, Molly. Um, I think that what Laurel's doing is like, is it an issue? Because I think it works. It's just maybe you have the person next to you, like quickly after the announcements during that 30 seconds, remind you, oh, put your book away, and then you can just start with the day. One solution is to remind each other. Yes. yes, that's a solution. Now, I want to tell you the kind of solution that's best. Not that the other kind of solution isn't good. We'd rather have a solution. There's two types of solutions. One is what we do if somebody's not listening, right? And there are solutions to make sure that they're listening so we don't have to worry about them not listening because they are listening. Good? The, the, the kind of making sure they're listening in the first place is better than the kind of what we're going to do if they're not listening. Okay? Leah. I think one of the things that would really help um, us um, pay attention to the agenda in the mornings when Laurel's talking is like most of the time people don't realize that she's up there. Yes. So if she could just say, oh, we're going to start um, the agenda now. Got then it. And I think a lot of people would. Um, so a formal announcement that the agenda is about to begin. Yes. Yes? Um, well, a couple of things. One. I think that we, like, I think that, like, we're in grade six, we should be able to, once she's told us that we're doing the morning announcements, I think we should be able to figure that out on our own. Like, I don't think she should need to tell us, okay, like, wait your book away and wait for every single person, because I feel like, like, we're, like, 11 and 12. We shouldn't need someone telling us to go away, like, when she's clearly ready to be talking. Okay. Um, so you don't feel she should do that? Yeah. I feel like she should say, like, it's time for morning announcements. So make a formal yeah, announcement. Yeah, but I don't think she needs to tell us specifically who you're going to put your book away. Got it. And you should know, okay, it's me who she's looking at to put your book away. Got it. So because you guys are 11 and 12 years old, all she should really have to do is make a formal announcement, and you guys should be able to pull it together, right? Yeah. Camilla, you're up. Yeah, okay. So um, I feel like when she's up there, People, well, um, I think she should say, okay, well, like, leave, like, 60 seconds, like a minute, and then go up and say, okay, we're starting announcements now. Or even have, like, you know that thing that you, like, ding? A gong. And a gong, whatever gong. it's called. And then, and then everybody knows, like, okay, we need to put our, like, we need to sit down and, you know, now, I've seen teachers do this. I don't know if you guys have seen this in your schools, but there's teachers who do this. Oh, yeah. 
and then the class goes, and then at the end of the second of the claps, everybody's quiet and paying attention. That's kind of a gong, so she's clapping, right? Claire. I honestly think that the gong thing is a good idea. I, I lunch monitor the kindergartners and elementary school, and this is how I get their attention. And I feel like a lot of people would be like, I'm not going to listen to that. Like, that's for kindergartners. But if Laurel has the and he's like, boom, we're all like, oh. So a gong would be better than what we yes. do for kindergartners, yes? All right. Leah. Yes, so I agree with Sadie and Claire in this situation and the idea of Camilla. Um, so I think that Laurel shouldn't have to tell us, like, put your book away, because I think we're capable to do that. And also, like, with Claire, I think the gongs would actually work. Because the, the slapping, like, nobody pays attention to that. Is that true? Yes. Like, yes. 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 My, my class right. before, like, the teacher used to try to do that, but everybody just ignored it. Really? Like, so, if they come, if Laura actually used they come, then everybody would probably just be like, oh, oh, wow, that's, that's actually happening. Cool. Nevea. Nevea? Yes. yes. I think that, like, I agree with Leah and Sabine that we should buy now. We've been in this, like, class for a while now, and we should know what Laurel's expectations are. And, like, we know what her expectations are, but we just don't, like, we just, like, kind of, like, brush them off our shoulder. Yes. But we should know by now that we should be listening after the announcements and put our books away. So if everybody just worked together a little harder and actually tried more, that we could probably pull it off. Just listen. Sometimes it works out that way. Sometimes just by talking about something, people get better at it. But here's the other deal. Sometimes you know what the expectation is, but it's hard to do it anyways. Yes. Right? I fully support the idea of a gong, especially if you get a really loud one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I have no idea. No, that's, that's, that's why we do this. <laughs> a gong. All right, Camilla, then Molly. Okay, I feel like a gong is better than if she just stands there because I feel like then we don't really know when the 60 seconds are over. Yeah, so and some you know. signal, especially a gong. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys will be unique in this school, I think. You'll be the only yes. class with more than you with a gong, which would be cool. Molly, and then right after Molly, this person here. Go ahead. Um, like you said, I think we need like something like an extra to help us with the expectations, and I think a gong is a great idea. Cool. Go ahead. Your name? My name's Valley. 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 Ah. Go ahead. I, I, gone all the way. We could just use it for random stuff, like if you're dismissed and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 I'm cool with it. I don't, here's the deal. I don't decide what's a good solution. <laughs> You guys and Laurel decide what's a good solution. Let's go with Sabine and then somebody else is talking. Yeah, go ahead, Sabine. So, so the only Laurel could do is like put on a timer for 30 or 60 seconds or whatever. And then that's our time to get organized, get our stuff ready. We can, if we need to go like say something to someone we can, and when that 60 seconds is up and that like alarm alarm goes off, you should be in your spot ready to listen. Got it. So you have like a little a certain period of time that Laurel will choose, and after that you should be already in your spot ready for like 100 minutes. So some form of a timer. Yes? We'll figure that out soon. Let's go with someone who hasn't talked yet. Go ahead. Um, What's your name? Amika. Amika? Um, so, um, so last year my teacher had these like like multiple different things just to get our attention. Like, she had this tiny plastic frog that made a weird like, oh, sound. Yeah. Like you put it along its back and we're like, oh, oh I have one. I know those. There's many possibilities. Um, I have one. I have a triangle or something like that would work, but I think that if we do have something like that, it should be like only the teachers. Who does it? Or else. Yeah. Right. Laurel has a thing of squeaky chickens in the back. Yes. Yes. Squeaky chicken. Squeaky chicken. Leah, go ahead. 
Yeah, so I like the idea of the dog and the sweet chicken and the frog. But I also kind of like the beans idea of the timer. Only because, like, then we can see how much time we have left. Yes. But I still like the ideas of the dog. Yes. Rose. Um, so I think um, either one of the goggles are cracking on the timer. It's good, but if you if you get a timer, I think you should get a really loud ticking so you can hear every heart reaching second okay. <laughs> go far. <laughs> and also, um, if you do rubber chicken, um, or if you get a gong, people will be going crazy with it as soon as you leave the room. But you, are, you should probably get it anyway. We might need to have the rule that if there's a gong, Laurel's the only one who can use it. Um, just me, I find it a little bit like, I don't know the word, to, uh, if you had a timer, like it's kind of like, it's almost stressful if you're like trying to get, like if you had to go get your box and then get your binder, you'd be like rushing to get it, you could drop something or break something, and like, like it's like, when, it, when the thing is counting down, it's really like, there's a lot of um, stress. Like, stress. Yeah, stress. Because it's it. like hard to get it all done in 60 seconds. Got it. Is everybody good with, or at least not mine, some sort of sound signal from Laurel letting you know that it's time for morning agenda? Does anybody mind that? Good. Does anybody mind having some mechanism that you may not necessarily have to pay super close attention to, but for letting you know how much time is left before morning agenda? Who minds that? So some people aren't so crazy about that. I don't think that's going to be what we call mutually satisfactory. So we're probably not going to have a countdown, but everybody wants a sound, right? Raise your hand if you mind a gong. Raise your hand if you mind a triangle. Raise your hand if you mind a squeaky frog. Raise your hand if you mind a squeaky uh, frog. No squeaky. Raise your hand if you mind or are not so enthusiastic about the squeaky chicken. It looks to me like what your class has agreed on is that number one, you need some formal way of knowing that the morning agenda is about to begin. Now you know Laurel's expectation. She expects you to listen to the morning announcements. She expects you to stay at your seat during the 30 to 60 seconds between the morning announcements and morning agenda. She expects you to listen to the morning agenda even if you've already read it. But it sounds like you guys would like an official signal, and it sounds like the gong is what your classroom has agreed on for how Laurel will signal you that it's time for morning agenda. Good? So then let me tell you, you guys just did it. What you guys just did is you figured out what your concerns were. And by the way, you can't come up with a solution unless you know what the concerns are that you're trying to address, right? So we had to get that figured out first. You did a great job of listening to each other. I think you were extremely respectful. Extremely. You did a good job of listening to Laurel's concerns. Now you know what her expectations are, and you came together as a group on a solution. Do you guys know that you could do that on almost on any problem that's affecting the entire group? So, if any other problems come up that affect the entire group, you know what I should think you should do? What, what we just did. Call you. What, no, no, no. Laurel no, 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 no knows how to yeah. do this. And by the way, now you guys know how to do this. So let's how much time are we going to have? That is a great question. That's probably Laurel's call, I think. No, 
I feel like for me to set a timer and then walk away from the timer to the goal with 30 seconds, like, it's not realistic. I think it's got to be like one minute. Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. good. Yeah. Good. I think the timer's got to be one minute because I don't see myself like, you know, I don't think that's realistic. Got it. I was a bit unclear, but during that one minute, is it going to be the basement same thing that it was before? Or is that sort of going to be our one minute that we can like, go say something before we go get our stuff? Like, We're going to stay in our seat during that one minute, right? Because the idea is that we have 820, you come yes. in, yes. you got your reading, you got your announcements, there's a minute, and then it sounds like there's going to be a minute, a gong, a gong of <laughs> some sort, and then... Agenda. Yeah, we can also use a gong for different things too. We'll discuss we'll discuss gong use like rules at a different moment. I'm like envisioning it installed really high. <laughs> 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 <laughs>